I had a feeling we might have a rat among us. But to be Menic of all people. So what do we do now? I'm going. Law. That bastard Ganabelt will pay. You have to know that Ganabelt will be expecting us. This is all an obvious trap. I don't give a damn if it is. There's no way I'm letting that bastard get away with this. He's right, you know. Ganabelt. Mess with the wrong people. Alfin, you can't just... Weren't you the one who said you wanted to take on the Lords? Or would you rather go back to Calaglia? I won't allow you to put words in my mouth. All I'm saying is we shouldn't rush things. I don't need any of you coming along. The score is mine to settle. You're not the only one who wants to avenge Zephyr's death. He's right. Besides, if we don't take him on right now, we may never get another opportunity. If you're going, that means you're going to need the Blazing Sword. If we do this, we can't afford to make any mistakes. Are you really sure? You can ask us again after we've defeated the Lord. Please, allow me to help you as well. Think of it as an apology for getting you into this whole mess. It's the least I can do. Feel free to use anything in here you might need. Aren't you worried about getting ambushed? Impossible. I built this hideout with my own two hands, Menic. No Ganabelt doesn't know it exists. Then let's go. Time to avenge Zephyr and free the realm's people. <clears throat> All right, when Law keeps attacking without getting staggered, his concentration builds, raising his attack. I forgot to mention this before, but any enemies we go up against with real hard defenses, you just leave them to me. Hard defenses? You mean like enemies with shields and things like that? Shields, shells, armor, whatever. When you attack those kinds of enemies from the front, your blows mostly get blocked, right? Sure. So you're saying you have a counter? It's nothing fancy. Let's just say I have a knack for busting open tough, sturdy stuff. It's hard to explain, but I focus my energy and then hit a specific point with everything I've got. If I do it right, their defenses come crumbling down. Really? But without Astral Arts, how could you possibly... If he says he can do it, then he can do it. We can trust him. <sighs> Thanks, Alfin. Kind of like Boruto's oh, between you and focus me, and gun. Right now, there's nothing I want to bash in more than Ganabelt's stupid smug face. I think you'll get your chance soon enough, Law. After all that, how can these people carry on like nothing happened? Didn't Zephyr's words reach anyone in that whole crowd? The Snake Eyes could be anywhere. People are scared of being reported, so they can't do Jack. And speaking from experience, when you spend so much of your life as a slave, you stop even thinking of standing up and fighting. Calaglia had a lot of people like that. Well, these people are in no position to demand anything anyway, when they've lost the will to fight and need others to protect them. These people have had a hard enough time just keeping the fires lit. No one wants to sacrifice their life without good cause. It is what it is. Once Ganabelt is out of the picture, Things in Cislodia are sure to change. Yeah, I hope so. That damn Ganabelt! I hate him! I'm not seeing very many enemies around. What's going on? They probably know we're not going to run away and are waiting for us to show up. Well, if it's a fight they want, I'll be more than happy to give them one. They're probably inside the Ravel prison tower in the plaza. That's where the Lord here lives. The same building with the spirit vessel that's gathering all the light, huh? We need to be careful of how we go from here. The fact Ganabelt knew about my healing arts and had that poison ready tells me he's extremely dangerous. He's not dangerous. 
He's just a rat bastard who's getting what's coming to him. I'm telling you, don't underestimate him. We don't know what else he's got in store for us. One misstep on our part is all it's going to take to give him what he wants. <sighs> You're right. Dad, what were you trying to tell me there at the end? I guess it'll have to stay unspoken and unheard. Like all the other things we never got round to telling each other. All right, the enemies you'll fight right here will give you the thing you need to make Law a new weapon, or you can make it for Renwell. I went ahead and gave it to Law this time. Got it. All right. Law's boost attack. Basically, um, is able to take down armored enemies. You mean you can get past that shield? Just let him do his thing. We can really make weapons with this? Ganabelt must be somewhere inside. How about it, Law? Any idea which way it is? This is a Renan castle. You think they were in the habit of letting a Danon like me inside? Point taken. The astral energy's off the scale. Almost like it's pressing down on me. You can feel it? The whole castle must be brimming with it. My hunch is it'll get stronger the deeper we go. It must be the spirit vessel. You can bet anything it's pulsing with stored astral energy. We can't let Ganabelt use it against us. Then we can assume that's his plan A. <laughs> let him try. I'll destroy anything he throws at us. Alright, so Law can break barriers with his CP action, I guess. Renan's sensibilities is another matter altogether. It's us Danons who built this structure, you know. How would we know what Renan's like? Who cares? Let's hurry up and get to the top floor so we can kick Danabelle's ass. Let's keep our eyes on the prize. I'm practically unstoppable. All right, this door up these stairs is that opened with a key that's in this room.
Our work is done here. Let's move. I'm right behind you, Shion. What is this place? Some kind of armory? Looks like they're more for decorative purposes than actual combat. Does it matter? We've got a job to do. Wait, this isn't Renan. It's... Danon. Really? And not just this one either. All of these. It's all Danon gear. What's Danon equipment doing on display inside a Renan castle? Ask around later if you're so interested. But for now, we've got more pressing matters to attend to. Remember? injuries I hey hmm yes Did this open the door? We still don't know how to activate the elevator. We'll just have to... Let's move. I'm right be... They keep a Zugla locked up down here? Why? I've... Heard rumors that they feed prisoners to one instead of executing them. Do you think? Stop it! Okay, yeah. So I just saved, saved the game. So let's see what this one's on about. Oh, it's locked. But let's say, I wonder if we can try to fight it. But nope. Oh, hey, it's some of those things. Oh, I bet we need whatever that is over there too. Let's keep our eyes on the prize. Does this look like an elevator key to you guys? Only one way to find out. Let's go. So your elevator key is here. And this. And this cell has a stat booster. Do you sense one of your friends, Noodle? Are you still thinking about that armory with all the Dan and equipment? Yeah, especially that black armor. I don't think I've ever seen anything from Dana that looked so nice. I can tell you that it was definitely Danon. It was made using techniques found only here. That's how I know. But ever since the Renans came, our civilization's been scrubbed out bit by bit. Hardly anything's left now which is why most people don't remember. 
But why would the Renans have something like that? Unless it was the spoils of war. It must be a token of the Danans who fought and lost in the past. Or rather, that the Renans were able to beat them. Armor that nice must have been worn by a commander of some sort. They might have even been a Danan hero. A hero, huh? A fallen hero, maybe. I hate to see all that stuff fall into Renan hands. But it's amazing to see that so much of it has survived. You into this kind of stuff then, Renwell? Uh, I mean, yeah, I guess. Are we done here? We don't want to keep Ganabelt waiting any longer. All right, so it looks like we've got another elevator that needs a key. Here's your elevator control panel. Here's the hoodle. Uh, this is armor for Alfin. La will have to break a barrier. And here's armor for Xion. La will have to break a barrier in this one as well. B, let's check and find out. We're coming for you, Genabelt. guys what's up we need to talk about ganabelt this guy can control both light and lightning and i've heard his swordsmanship is unrivaled i'm not surprised he is one of the top lords after all that's not all he also has these weird little gadgets that he likes to use gadgets you mean like some kind of a renin weapon probably he's got a bunch of these things that hover all around him they're supposed to protect him from attacks coming in at any angle. I take it there aren't any blind spots then? Nope. Which is why I plan to bust down his defenses from the front. What? Why? Isn't that where his defense will be the toughest? That's why it's worth attacking. Once I poke a hole in that bastard's defenses, the rest of you can tear it wide open and give him hell. All right. We go with your plan, Law. Now let's get going. It's about time we got revenge for Zephyr. It's about time. I was beginning to worry you'd jump ship like the rats you are. You're not so fortunate. We're here to end you, to liberate Cislodia, to avenge Zephyr. <laughs> you talk big, but don't you think you're forgetting something? Of your precious resistance groups, whether the Silver Swords or any others, none have ever dealt a blow to Renan domination. In each and every realm, the story is the same. Until you... <laughs> You, who wields the blazing sword of Calaglia, are different. The news of Balsef's defeat really took the wind out of your sails. <laughs> that brute? A bad case of brawn over brain. Certainly no loss to me. Still, even the smallest of sparks can grow into an inferno. I must give precedence to the task at hand, extinguishing you. 
snuffing out your fire before it spreads across the five realms. That's... no. He can't be... Rinwell? N nothing I'm fine. Ah, Ganabelt Valkyrus, Lord of Cislodia, accept your challenge. Come and meet your death. Hmm. You'll pay for what you did to my father! <laughs> the feisty mouth which is to bite the hand that feeds, Dumpy! I never wanted to serve you! I had no choice! Significant worm! Now return! Where you... You'll pay for what you did to my father! <laughs> the fight is oh, like you need to lock now! I think not. Get up! The barrier's been broken! I'm on here right now! Everyone, focus your attack! Lightning! Ah, this is the part where this gets pretty tough. If this keeps up. These guys have a lot of attacks and you can't, as far as I can tell, you can't target his barrier. This attack he's about to unleash is, is gonna floor the whole party pretty much. You gotta be ready to recover from this quickly. Um, now return to dust. Dance in the wind. We take another assault from that arc, we're done for. That mirage is created. It can channel all of its energy. Then I guess we gotta get it quick. It's just relentless. They just these phantoms just attack you like crazy. It's just such a chaotic battlefield. It's just, it's just stuff coming at you from every direction. Here we go on the 
Significant worm! Now ret earn to dust! Better! Drink deep the despair! Raging Cascade! I, who am united with Fresh. the abyss! Raging Cascade! Spread! Whilst the depths of despair consume thee! Dance in the wind! I, Air thrust! Who commands all the astral plane! Whilst thou art cursed to expire Air into nothing. Ah, who stands bathed in, in heavenly wind. light. Air thrust. Whilst thou cowers before the gates of hell. Dance in the wind. Come Air forth, thrust. divine lightning. You're finished. Even to dead. Oh, just barely. I think I had heard that the second lord is a pretty decent difficulty Have you spike. Heard Yet. Yeah, that was just phase one of the fight. Oh my gosh. Brethren on Tana, I will not. to believe this. It cannot end this way. If I die, my subjects will... Uh, it's daytime there now, which we expected to happen. up the Gestapo there. It's over. But Zephyr's still gone. Focus on the positive. We defeated a lord. And under difficult circumstances, too. <laughs> Focus on the positive? Zephyr's dead, Shion. And the Renans ruled this world unimpeded for three centuries. Did you think there wouldn't be any sacrifices? So Zephyr's life just doesn't matter? He's dead, Shion. Our friend is dead. We're fighting this damn war to keep people alive. 
Slap. What did the five fingers yeah, say to the face? Right. This is a war. Did you just realize that? Zephyr wasn't the first to die, and he sure won't be the last. If you can't handle that, Alfin, then you should run back to Calaglia. And when you do, just remember to leave the Blazing Sword here, in safer hands. What's that supposed to mean? <sighs> Damn it. She just thinks she can say whatever she likes. Bickering among ourselves at a time like this isn't going to get us anywhere. Especially at a time like this. <sighs> All right. Fine. So much for Ganabelt. Good riddance. You said it. So, was the Lord of Calaglia like Ganabelt too? No. Balsef was huge, a real tough guy act. Now that I think of it, his crest was different too. His was a flaming cross. Ah, oh, I see. Uh, anyway, what do you guys plan on doing from here? We keep moving. Three Renan Lords remain, and we won't rest until their thrones are empty as well. That worked for you, Xion? That was my endgame from the beginning. Uh, hey, so if it's not too much trouble, could I maybe come along? Isn't Cislodia your home? I mean, yes, but... It's just, now that everyone knows what I've been hiding, well, it might be best to get as far away as I can until it all quiets down. Is that okay? I promise I'll pull my own weight. Sure. You're welcome to join us. Law's gonna come in and say, hey, count me in on that. Taking off, huh? Yeah, thanks for everything. It's too bad. I wish there was more we could do to pay you back for all you've done. I'll see to it personally that Zephyr's remains reach Calaglia safely. What's next for Cislodia? I honestly couldn't tell you. The enemy infiltrated its way right to our core as a people. Only time will tell if we can rise above our suspicions and come together. Zephyr once told me that so long as you don't give up, there's no wall that can't be torn down. Sounds about right. And thanks to you, the greatest obstacle that was in our way is now gone. I suppose the rest of it will be up to us. I look forward to seeing how far you'll go. Oh, I almost forgot. Before you head off, there's something I wanted to give you. Hmm? <laughs> Oh, that armor. Haha, <laughs> nice. Wow, look at you. You scrub up real nice. It was a parting gift. It's like speaking to one of the old Danon heroes from Legend. Where to next, then? Elda Menencia. You're really going to travel in that thing? Why not? It's not as heavy as it looks. Actually, there's someone I was hoping we could invite along with us. You can't be serious. Got some place to be? Not really. I mean, I can't stay here, of course. Then again... There's no one waiting for me back in Calaglia, either. Plenty of ditches along the road. Maybe I'll find one to die in. How about a fresh start? After the kinds of things I've done, 
I don't know where I'd even begin. Your father said that as long as you face the past, there's hope. I think it might be a little late for that. He also said he'd fought and lost all his life, but didn't regret it in the slightest. <laughs> it's only over when you give up. Keep fighting, and even that wall inside you can be brought down. Don't you want to see what your dad saw on the other side of that wall? What he was fighting for? Do you... Do you think I'm even worthy to? That's for you to decide. I... I'm sick of losing everything I love. Of running from life. Maybe all that's left is to just turn around and face it. Count me in. Finally. I thought you'd never finish. We've still got a ways to go. <laughs> Here we go, Hoodle. This huh. armor was a gift from Bregan. What if it really did belong to a Danon hero once upon a time? <laughs> he challenged an overwhelmingly powerful Renan foe and perished for it. I wonder how he felt having the hopes of the people riding on him. Hey, did you make off with that armor while none of us were looking? Because I've got to admit, you look pretty snazzy in it. He didn't steal it, if that's what you mean. Bregan gave it to him as a parting gift. Ah, right. Although it makes sense, I guess. It's like a symbol of rebellion in its own way. Which is why it should have been your father wearing this, not me. I don't know. I don't think he could have pulled it off like you, man. I wonder what the last wearer of this armor was dreaming of for Cislodia when they decided to rise up and fight. Who knows? Anyone who could have answered that is long gone. Truth is always lost with the departed. Are you saying there's no point in trying to understand why they gave up their lives? No. Only that it's impossible to know for sure. Look, I can tell that you're concerned about Cislodia's future. But we do have other things to take care of. You can't shoulder all of the world's problems, Alfin. If you try to, You'll only find yourself buried by the weight of it all. Yeah, I know. My path is forward, and I'll do what I can, here and now. You were born in Calaglia, right, Law? Hmm? Oh, yeah. It's scalding hot all the time there, so I was shocked when I learned Cislodia is the exact opposite. Not to mention dark. Not anymore, thankfully. How did you even manage to cross the border between realms? All five realms are supposed to be closed off, due to the nature of the crown contest. What? Is this an interrogation now? I didn't mean it like that. I just figured if a Danon like you was able to slip between realms, it could come in handy later. Ah, good thinking. I don't think I really did anything all that creative, though. What? Don't tell me you climbed over the walls of fire. Oh, hell no. Not even Zoogles could do something that crazy. Nah, I stowed away. In what? Oh, you'll like this. The realms don't maintain much contact with each other, but there are resources each is looking to trade for. So, there are cargo convoys from each of the lords that go around a few times a year to lend those resources to each other. Oh yeah, I remember hearing about that. That was the only time the gates of Calaglia would ever open up. Right. Obviously, they don't let Danons ride with them. 
So I snuck on board inside some cargo instead. So you were carried out of the realm? You did great not getting caught. Way to go. Eh, let's just say I've always had a knack for sneaking around since I was little. I was also really desperate to get the hell out of Calaglia at the time. I had more guts than brains that day. If I had a guess, I probably wasn't the first one to ever do something like that. Danon or Renan. I wonder if that's how Menic, I mean, Ganabelt, was able to hear about what happened in Calaglia so quickly. So in other words, we should always assume that the enemy is informed about whatever it is that we may be up to, wherever we go.